There's now like mixtures of like, say for example, Af Asha Care, mm -hmm. Afrobeat artist, mm -hmm. jumping on, I'm, I'm a piano and people calling it Afro piano. Don't bite me. I just said what they said. Okay. Um, I'm hearing Bashman on I'm a piano now, Jamo piano. I'm hearing that. Oh yeah. On um, TikTok, they're doing also, everything. There's, everyone's coming up with like different, different genres Jeez. of <laughs> I'm a piano. And I know I'm a piano is like very, I feel like the, the culture and the gatekeepers are like, what are you doing? Like, we don't, we don't like this. We don't want this. But what's your opinion? What's, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, hey, I'd like things? to not comment on this. No comments. No, I don't want to, I don't want to, no, I don't want to be a bad person. I don't want to like, mm, brr, mm, 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 brr. You said I'm not involved. Yeah, no, I'm not involved. Yes, people, what's going on? It's your girl Tilly Tills, and this is the Afrobeat CNN radio show. I know, you guys, this is not the usual look. We told you guys, it's 2024, we're switching things up, okay? It's not just me, myself, of course, I've got my lovely co host. Guys, it's Michelle ECS. What are you guys telling me? Uh, Today, we've got some good stuff. We've got, got some, some real, real good, good stuff, stuff for you guys. <laughs> you don't even know. Also, big shout out to all, obviously, our special uh, other um, co hosts that are not around with us right now because they're busy chopping life. And we've got Adi Shopper, aka Shopsy, if you know, you know. No, the one and only shop CD, and who's our other co host? We've got Sam, we've got Skex, DJ Skex, the best DJ up north, actually huh. in the UK. You guys huh. just don't know yet. Oh, wait, no, no, it's international know. now. He's in Ghana. He's in Ghana. And he's refusing UK. to come back. He doesn't want to come back. <laughs> he doesn't want to come back. here and do our show with us. So, <gasps> so right, left in, us to it. We have an even better co host huh. today. Period. An even better co host. <laughs> the one and only Dali Wanger is in the building. Can we all clap? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, sir. Hello, everybody. Um, Dali Wonga here, as they said, and um, lovely to be here. Lovely, lovely, <laughs> lovely to have you. Welcome to the Afrobeat CNN show. Um, if you don't already know, this show is kind of organized chaos. I think you already got a, a bit of a glimpse of that. Thank you so much for waiting. Yes. No problem. Let's get into that because um, I feel like a lot of artists will have run a bit of a tantrum, you guys. Like I told you, we're setting up a bit differently. So the angles are a bit different this time around. Okay. <laughs> but let's get straight into it. Welcome to Manchester. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, that, that, pretty that, cold. What was that? <laughs> I mean, yo, the weather, hey, hey. it's cold, but uh, today's better actually. I was so telling him I'm before. I'm not complaining that much. Maybe I was going to complain like two nights before this. Because it was super cold. Mm. Yeah. But today, I don't mind waiting. So. You've got it easy today. I'll be so real. Yeah. I was saying this. Manchester is the is the rain city. Everyone that knows, yeah. knows. It's always raining here. But it's like you brought the South African sun with you. So it's quite warm today, actually. Ah, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's warm for him. Maybe it's warm for us. But for him, this is still like... Nah, but it's, not, it's not that bad. Like Compared to the other days, I think I, I'm, I'm okay today. Okay, okay, and that's always good. That's always good. Let's get straight into it. You went, to, you had a show in London on Friday. Um, yeah. Let's talk about that because some of us were not, was... were not there. It was not fair, but anyways. <laughs> <laughs> talk to us about yeah, that. Yeah, you guys missed it? out. It was oh, it was amazing. I won't lie. I had so much fun. Like on stage, it was super. Like it was packed. The energy was like remarkable. I, I had so much fun. Is that your first show in the UK? No. Okay. Yeah, did I'm a first, I think, last year. Oh, I saw that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, she was there. Listen, anywhere where there's enjoyment, you will see Michelle there. Michelle was on the stage. I saw you on the stage the oh other day. Oh my gosh, guys. The other <laughs> She's always on the stage. The other day, I went to Tanya and Shaq's um, Asambe in London. It was super lit. Don't mm -hmm. know how I ended up on stage. You know, the regular, I don't know. I feel like it, it's a, it's a reoccur reoccurring thing. The drinks go down, main character syndrome starts screaming. The yeah, stage is like, yeah. wow, that looks like I want to be. I think and it's a UK thing. Eh? Do you think it's so? Because, yeah. I mean, there, when I was on stage, um, there were like uh, quite a few people that hopped on. Eh? Really? Yeah. Did you dance with them? I mean, I don't mind. Do, do you actually not mind? That's the real question. Do you actually not mind? Or do you prefer to perform No, it's like... In the moment, let's be in the moment together. Yeah. I mean, I don't no, have I to be that like, weird. Yeah. yeah, I think that's a better vibe. I feel yeah. like when everybody's enjoying, when you can see everybody coming to like, everybody wants to come and vibe with yeah. whoever's already vibing on stage. I feel like it's a really good thing. I think that's one thing I mess with about oh, It's not always like that. Sorry, I've been to a show before okay, where I saw chaos. people try to, you know, jump on the stage and do their thing. And this artist is looking at security, like, get like, rid of get these, these people. people. Yeah, oh, so, and yeah that's what I'm saying. It's a, it's, a, it's a thing of a, a moment. So it's not like... It's something I'd allow all the all time. time. Cause yeah. sometimes maybe you have something planned and then you jumping on stage like hey. Like, bro, that's like, not part that's not part like, of the team. Oh yeah. <laughs> what's up? How are you? <laughs> what's <Yeah>. going on? <laughs> oh, no, I hear right. that. Okay, okay, okay. So um what would how would you compare your shows back home and shows here in the UK? 
Like, what we, what, what's the, okay, I, I want to find out what the similarities are and what are the differences. The vi- I mean, people know the songs, so I think that's similar. Um, but <laughs> lyrics, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Yeah, but when it comes to the lyrics, it's like, hey, back home, they know, like, word, word for, for word, word, bar yeah. for bar, yeah. yeah. Ah. And then outside, it's like, okay, I hear you guys, and I don't mind. It's, it's fine, sing <laughs> it's whatever. Lyrics, like, it, it? <laughs> let's have fun. So yeah. that's not how it goes? No, nah, no, it's it's not even bad or either. Mm. It's like... Where, where's your favorite place to perform whether it's in the uk whatever city whatever country what's your favorite place uh, to be like say if you you find out you're performing here you're like yeah like this is this gonna is be a good one this is the one mm. uh, for now it has to be um mozambique oh i would never have thought about that neither i mean mozambique yeah, is like, the, i feel like we don't really hear much about mozambique but, yeah it's a lot but of i won't southern lie countries. like mozambique is what makes it so good I don't know, but the energy there is like it's too it's much. Yeah. Hmm. What, oh, actually, can I ask you whilst we're at this? What language do you speak, or what languages do you speak mostly? La- yeah, I speak like English. You see Zulu, one of the languages. I'm sure, you know. That. Yeah. Yeah. And now that I'm like friends with people from Pretoria back in uh, South Africa, yeah, I speak more P- Spitori. Oh. Wow, okay, so I feel like the Nigerian in me... <laughs> it's not going to pick yeah, it up. Um, I, yeah, like, I want to learn one or two words. Like, yeah, let's, let's, let's teach, teach us something. Teach us a little something. Spitori. Uh, in what language? Um, oh, wow. Is it Zulu? Pick it. It's got, it's Zulu, I think. This is yeah. Zulu. Saobona yeah. means hello. Yeah. Oh, so I'm sure that's basic. Is, is it the same as... What um, was that? Saobona. Saobona. It's Saobona. Almost, Saobona. almost the same. Yeah, Saobona. Saobona. Well, I'll oh. teach you a bit of Yoruba. Baoni. It means how are you? Oh, Baoni, how are you? Hey, how are you? Oh, how are you? Oh, Baoni, how are you? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I don't have anything to teach you guys. I can teach you Shona, but Uribo is like, yeah, Rebo, how are you? Hey, <laughs> That's the best I can say. do. <laughs> oh, you can speak Shona? No, I try. Oh, okay, fair it's enough. It's like two, Not three I can't say words. Me, I speak Shonglish only, so. Shonglish. Shonglish is the okay. best that I can do. Shonglish is like a combination of Shona and English. And English, That's yeah. the best that I can do. I can understand everything. Listen, listen, I'm Yoruba, man. Yoruba, Nigeria, so the word out. through. Shout out. Through and through. But let's get into your musical journey. Um, when did you start making music? Because my personal introduction to you, to your music, sorry, was in 2022. Mm-hmm. Um, lo- they, they, they finally freed us. We're allowed outside again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. and Pi Radio had the first. Listen, I mean, what camera am I looking at? That one. Pi yeah. Radio was the pioneer of the Afrobeats versus Amapiano events. Period. Okay? Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel like I need to, I need to put that out there. Yeah, but yeah, it was a it was a Pi Radio Amapiano versus Afrobeat um, event that happened in summer. Our first time outside, so everybody was eager to be outside. It was a vibe. And Abo Melo, I don't I cannot say it. wow, I'm not even saying it right. Abo Melo. Abo Melo, that's Abom- it. Yeah, she's actually she's not wrong, it. eh? Oh, oh really? Mm-hmm. Oh, so you thought you knew well, it all? Well, yeah, yeah. How do I say it? Abo Melo. Yeah. It actually says Abo Melo because it's I a song by Melo before. and it's, it's oh, produced really? by Melo and Sleaze. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. I was actually saying Abo Melo, and then people were like, no. He sang Abom Velo and then when they leaked the yeah, song the on like song, YouTube yeah. and then they wrote Abom Velo and then I was like, you know what? Let's run with it and not confuse the people. Do you get sick of people Abom leaking Velo. songs? It's a good thing, but also a bad thing. Yeah, or, yeah you it's get like, me. It's like it's free like, promo. But yeah, like, but you shouldn't let it go on for like long. You just long. drop the song. Yeah, fair mm. enough. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I mean, like that. I was saying, that was my introduction to you. So when I heard that, it was at a Pi Radio event and it was going off. Yeah. And for some reason, everyone knew the words to it as well, which is so <laughs> crazy. I'm like, wait, have I been living under a rock? Because I know I'm Team Afrobeats. Yeah, yeah, we understand all that. But how have I not known of this? And that automatically, I'm like an energy person. Like, even mm-hmm. if everyone that knows me knows Michelle knows yeah, my favorite genre of music French is French music. music. Yeah. I don't understand what these lot are saying, <laughs> but I love French music so much. So when I heard that song, I was like, Yo, I see the happiness in people. I see the joy, and people are really, really dancing. Mm-hmm. How did that collaboration even come about? And how did you feel throughout the whole making of the music? So we made the song. I think uh, a day before they were supposed to play at Balcony Mix. Okay. Uh, okay. Major day, yeah. yeah. We made it like two days before. Was it planned? Then, no, we were just having a studio session. It's like it was like let's let's work. And then we made the song during the day, which is aw- it was awkward for me. I never record during the day. Why? No, like I don't <laughs> know. It's good night time. Night time. Yeah, night time is like always nice. But then fortunately that day we were like, you know what? Let's make something. And it was around like two p.m. 
And then wow. we Do made the what? song. Then they were like, you know what? We playing this tomorrow. First just track, like that. Really? balcony was mix. Was it mix and mastered? Was it even ready? You just said yeah. straight away. We did everything that day. Wow. I think it gives a daytime song. Like you can hear, you can listen to that in the daytime yeah. and be like, yeah, like this is, the sun is out, the vibe, day party vibes. Mm, yeah, but we, we already mm. knew that. You know what? This one, I'm telling you boys, we're moving. But you know what's going to be a hit Yeah, yeah like, hit. just after recording, we were like, bro, we, this we got it. one. Like, <laughs> Yeah, I listen to that on my way to Groover Barrel. When I'm on the way, I'm like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's all the way. <laughs> and so they play the You have to feel like that with a lot of your songs then. Like, you yeah. Know, this is, yeah. This is it. You, I think it's like an intuition thing. Mm. Like, you know when, uh, yeah, I think this is just a, an album song. It has to be like a part of the album, you know. And then you know when you like got this one. one like, is it. You know, this one. So have you ever made a song that you're like yeah nah this ain't this ain't it or you have people around you that told you like Mm-mm, um yeah this this <laughs> one here we're not making out the hood with this one. um i no one's ever like told me that yo this song is not the one mm. but i i always say it i'm like nah yeah and then they're like no this song is dope no bro like you yeah. you just trip i'm like nah nah nah, 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 nah. i don't think one. this one it has to make the cut uh-huh. so yeah it's, okay. That's why it's important to not have yes, yes men, men around. around. Okay. Yeah, it's like yeah, that makes sense. I'm gonna agree to everything, and now we just drop uh, anything. And it's <laughs> yeah. like, dog, what are you doing now? It's uh, yeah. I tricky. mean, I feel like the people around you definitely, you know, help to mold who you are as an yeah. artist. I'm, yeah. Big shout out to the old entourage that came through with you today. Yeah. They've been on us. Like, guys, are you ready? Guys, are you ready, <laughs> guys? But um, yeah, we just say that's very, very important as well mm-hmm. to have the right kind of people around you. Yeah, yeah. Not yes, man. No, no, no. no. We don't do you that. You don't need that. Yeah, no, honestly. I think that's so real <laughs> with anything. If you don't mind me asking, um, who's your biggest inspiration in the music industry? Right now. Yeah. Or even all time, all time. Or even from like, from the get-go, you know when you started making music, who was yeah. like, I, I mean, wouldn't be like that person? I think for like a lot of us, it's always been Michael Jackson, because I don't think... <sighs> that is so... I think I think that's <sighs> Africans. I feel like African artists yeah, are always... Is that like Michael Jackson? Yes. Yeah, 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 I absolutely. mean like... Uh, oh my I was God. convinced I was going to marry that guy. I was like seven years old, <laughs> yeah, by the way. Me too. No one could tell me otherwise. I was I used so to like, watch all the concert you, videos like, and people are passing out and you're like... Yeah, like I, I think Michael Jackson has to be like mm, up there. And then, but for now, it's like Burner Boy. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, okay. I don't know why I thought it would be like a South African artist. Why Burner Boy though? The guy is amazing, man. Mm. He's a superstar. Like he is. Yeah. He's that guy. If you know Tilly, you know Tilly tells I'm outside. You will catch me in some places. Sometimes places I'm not supposed to be, mm-hmm. and a lot of times it's even by accident. Okay, so um, it was here in Manchester. He had a show at the AO Arena, and um, I've been doing some interviews and stuff backstage, mm-hmm. and. Now, Burner Boy is the headline, right? So we understand that everyone is gone towards it. Every, all the other artists they performed, everyone's like, okay, Burner Boy, that's who they're after. Even the crowd has started chanting, chanting. And this is over like 20,000 people. Mm-hmm. Me, being me, <laughs> I'm like, cool, everyone is gone now. Um, I need to find my way to this area of the stage as well because I want to see what's going on. Security is not having it. They say, nope. I'm like, listen, I've got my camera. I've got a microphone here. I'm working. <laughs> like, uh, no, no. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm not even going to fight this guy. I'm going to find a different route. Now, this different route that I found turns out to be like, you know, like a, a room for the artist to be there by themselves. Just oh, a second before yeah. they go on the stage. I didn't know. <laughs> I just walked in this room and I'm, I've got a watermelon in my hand, by the way, that I stole from someone's rider. So I'm just there like, I'm going to munch my watermelon and I'm going to go and see what's going on. I walk in this room, there's nobody there, it's me and my watermelon. As I'm buying into this watermelon, Burner Boy walks in. And then we just stood there staring at each other. <laughs> Did you get your interview? I didn't know, I froze. Like, it's so crazy because <laughs> I never freeze. I'm a talkative, I can talk for England. But I just had a moment, I don't know if it's, it's energy, it's aura, like it's Burner Boy. Yeah. And I don't usually get starstruck. So I just stood there and just stared at him and he was staring at me and we're just looking at each other. <laughs> <laughs> we had a whole stare off, like... I think it was, I always wonder what's going through his mind in that moment in time. He's like, mm. who is this person? <laughs> Are you supposed to be? Room? What was Why going through your mind? <laughs> I was just thinking, oh my gosh, am I, am I meant to eat this one? What am I meant to do? I literally just stood there and stared at him. And then luckily, big shout out to Solomon. Solomon walked in with the camera and stuff. And I was like, that's when I got a bit of confidence. I was like, hey, Bernard. <laughs> so like, yeah, no. Yeah, it, it didn't really smile. Too I don't think I was very happy about that situation. But um, 
Yeah, have you ever met Burner Boy as well? No, no, I haven't. Want to make that link up happen? Yeah. Burner. Yeah. I, want, I would love to hear a collaboration with you see. Ooh. That was that. What does that sound like in your mind? Damn. Hmm, what does that sound it? like? Because Burner Boy is very, very, I feel like it's very versatile. versatile. Yeah, he can yeah, do it. Yeah. Like, he could do anything. Who's your dream um, collaboration? Oh, because now it's said yeah. Burner Boy. and Chris Brown. Oh. Yeah. That's another very versatile okay. one. Yeah, versatile yeah. artist. Can do a bit of everything. Like he's good. He's doing a lot. Yeah, he's oh, good. Yeah. Musically, he's good. Very good. Hmm. Definitely. Okay, um, I'm going to throw it, do a bit of a throwback now to 2020. Mm-hmm. Serafina, who is she? I want to I know who Serafina is. <laughs> it's so crazy how people <laughs> think I write songs about people. Like, Okay. Serafina's not even a real person, man. It's like <laughs> someone I Michelle's made, not buying it. I made up in the studio while I was making this song. I was like, you know what? What what name would go with Ooh, this? That name sounds and very, very specific. I'm telling you, not even. I'm telling you the There's truth. a movie. Is that a movie called Serafina? Yeah, that there is a movie it. called yes. Serafina in South yeah, Africa. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't believe that there's nobody that was Serafina. Trust me. Maybe <laughs> there was somebody that was Serafina but isn't called Serafina. Oh, oh damn. That's, <laughs> what, that's what that's what they be doing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Actually, since we're along those lines, is there is there a mystery woman? Is there somebody that you're gonna bring the cows home to? Oh, the girl Are you gonna know. pay la bola because for somebody? <laughs> I I believe um, the cows are supposed to go somewhere someday. So yeah, I'm mm. just gonna keep it at that. Okay. Mm. He said, "I'm not, not saying." <laughs> he said, "No <laughs> answers. <laughs> you're not gonna catch me like a rat <laughs> on the highway." <laughs> no <laughs> answers, just vibes. Yeah, just yes. there's vibes. no cow that's just gonna go to the river randomly and not go to. Is that way? Wait, hold on. Is this how like South African weddings work? How does that way go on? What's this cow's? Um, Explain. Okay, so basically, right. Say I was to get my married somebody. Mm-hmm. I meant to tell my auntie or uncle, like, oh, so the no, am I meant to tell them? No. The no, boy, uh, they the, meant to tell my auntie yeah, uncle. They send a letter. Yeah. yeah, they send a letter, yeah. Okay. That and they want to marry. Yeah, say that they want to marry, like, whoever in question. Yeah. And then um, they'll respond and basically speak between the elders. So my parents and yeah. their elders, I think. Oh, set up a date. Okay. Me, I don't know. I don't think I know well <laughs> enough. I'm actually, I'm a British born baby. Like, <laughs> But you have an idea. That's yeah, I have an too. idea. I know how it works. And then the money comes. That's <laughs> what I know. Is that what she knows? <laughs> Wait, is that, do you think that's something that hmm, that's going to continue with our generation? Uh, I don't think on? so. Do you see yourself doing that? Uh, this generation, I don't think so. Sorry, guys. I'm so Why? sorry. Why? Ooh. You know, we make up our own stuff like a lot of the times. Like I don't think you're wrong there, to be honest. But me? Hmm. Somebody has to bring yeah, those it. cows home. What's yeah. called? Lobola, you said? Yeah. Yeah, Lobola. Yeah. I would oh. want to keep it traditional, to be honest. Honestly, like, I feel like that I'm quite young and my generation is a bit, eh, I don't know. Bro, a bit like... Trying to mess up. <laughs> the They actually world. mess up. But I would like to keep the generation <laughs> going. So you want to you wanna bring cows to somebody eventually? Yeah, I mean, I, it, it's, it feels good. I think it's like, a, mm. yeah, take me, throw back yeah mm. like, i hear it this is how things are supposed to be done yeah yeah see love is a beautiful thing man you guys let's talk i feel like we, we we've cultivated a habit in the, especially in this generation that yeah. you know yeah hold your heart like hold everything so close and <laughs> be so tough and like listen, i'm just a girl <laughs> oh my gosh i'm just a girl like this whole toughness it's time to let it go i was saying i want to bring back r&b music i think that's why everyone is so like angry these days we don't have much like love songs and r&b music mm-hmm. anymore the way we used to and um, on that note are you going are you looking or are you is that something that's been on your mind or something that you thought about maybe like switching it up from out my piano a little bit and trying a different genre yeah Oh, Ooh. I was not expecting that. <laughs> you guys, I'm not going to lie. I thought you were going to say, no, yeah, I'm a piano. That's my thing. Yeah, no, I, I am. Uh, I'm a piano and I'm a piano artist, but I, I, I believe I can do anything. Mm. And just before I'm a piano, I was also like more R&B, Afro, pop. Oh really? Afro, yeah. Is there any tracks out there that we should go and check out? No, together, nothing out said, there. It's took just, it all down. It's just on my phone. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. I feel like you could give like R and B, but I feel like there's a lot of different types of I'm a piano. And anyways, like yeah. they could be like love song I'm a piano. There's a little bit yeah. stuff that are a bit more groovy stuff. Mm-hmm. stuff I'm a bit happy and yeah. Then like, there's yeah. private yeah. school I'm a piano. Right. Explain this private stuff. school I'm a piano. I saw it on TikTok the other day. I'm not too sure what that means. Um, private school on my piano you, also. you tell us what what, what would you private school as? it's like a more it's like a bit slow 
and it's for it's like culture you see mm-hmm. in in hip hop there's like mainstream and there's underground mm. so um private school is like the underground oh, okay yeah. who gave it that name though private school i'm a piano yeah, that's Kelvin so Momo. Okay. I mean, speaking about like different types of I'm a piano now, um, this is slightly controversial and they might come for me. Please, I'm, I'm just <laughs> the messenger, okay? Please, yeah. please, please don't get me. But um, obviously, I'm a piano is like, it's borderline like a mainstream genre now. I can't lie. Yeah. I can't go out yeah. and not hear my piano now. It's played yeah. everywhere. So um, with that being said, obviously, there's now like mixtures of like, say, for example, Af- Asha Care, Afrobeat artist, mm-hmm. jumping on I'm, I'm a piano and people Ooh. calling it Afro piano. Don't bite me. I just said what they said. Okay. Um, I'm hearing Bashman on I'm a piano now, Jamo piano. I'm hearing that. Oh, yeah. On um, TikTok, they're doing there's also, everything. There's, everyone's coming up with like different, different genres Jeez. of <laughs> I'm a piano. And I know I'm a piano is like very, I feel like the, the culture and the gatekeepers are like, what are you doing? Like, we, know, we don't like this. We don't want this. But what's your opinion? What's, what are your thoughts on now? Hey, I'd creating? like to not comment on this. Please. No comments. No, I don't want to. I don't want to. No, I don't want to be a bad person. I don't want to like. Mm, brr, mm, mm, brr. You said I'm not involved. Yeah, no, I'm not involved. But do you, do you like what you hear though, or you just <laughs> some of it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's a very diplomatic answer. That's absolutely fine. But I'm um, on talk about your latest album though, Dali Dali. Yeah. Let's talk about that, Dali Dali. What's what inspired the name? Obviously, the name Dali Wonga. Is that yeah. what people call you, by the way? Dali. Yeah, like everyone calls me Dali. Is it? Yeah. Makes sense. Dali Dali. Dali Dali. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. But um, yes, so you've got a bunch of collaborations on that. Um, big shout out to all the South Africans that are making their ways right now, that are killing it within the music industry. I feel like, yo, you lot, like, Tyler won the Grammy. That is something, yeah. something that's very yeah. major. Uncle Waffles, I cannot scroll from my TikTok without seeing, like, not seeing her yeah. dancing yeah. and doing something somewhere. Obviously, Cabs are the small. Mm-hmm. Um, DJ my first, I feel like uh, names are, everyone. do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's They're so really, many. Yo, everyone is out here it's doing crazy. their thing, but um, South African music, your album, you know, having music that's out like that. How far do you see this all going? I I believe I'm going to be honest, they're going to like hold it down for like the longest time. For a while? Yeah, for a while until we find like, until it comes a genre that's going to be, that's going to do better than I'm a piano. Because mm, there are other jo- genres in South Africa as well. Yeah, but I'm saying I'm a piano now is like holding it down for us. I won't lie. Mm. For a and long it's time. it's still going to be like this for like for a, a long time. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Whatever too, changes they make, they make within the space. This, okay. Because like, that's what I was going to say. I feel like, you know, the way yeah. personally. They'd rather yeah. change the sound. Mm. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. I feel like personally, maybe from my side or from my, where I'm from looking in, I feel like, you know, when you know, other people start creating kind of like sub-genres. I know yeah. it's still on my piano. I know, I know, I know. Yeah. But when people start creating sub-genres, that's how words spread even more. Yeah. And you start yeah. hearing it yeah. in more different places that you won't usually be hearing. Yeah. Really? Yeah. What was your favorite song though on the album? On, the Daddy on my album. album. Damn. What's your favorite? Because I know us always say, oh yeah, all my songs are my babies and I love them all, but like... No, I love all of them, but... Ish. um, Let me see. Yeah, not yet, though. Why is ooh, that? that song is, yeah. Oh, it was seen in the reaction song. that it gave I'm that. I'm telling like, you, that ooh. song is, ooh, damn. Yeah. yeah. Why is that? Why Why do you feel like that was the song that made you? I mean, we like we that. sampled a song. Uh, is it Summer Days? Is it Summer Days? Na, 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 na. Was it? Am I wrong? Am I right, Sibu? Remind me. Okay, you lost for now. It's fine. <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah, it's that song. I mean the creativity behind it is also like also that the energy in the studio that day ooh, mm. was amazing what's your what's your studio setup usually like do you have like what's you know vibe? Belden, Mandem, yeah. like people around and um, well, drinking vibes in and give me a dope producer that's all you need give me coffee coffee give me water and shisha and pine okay oh. You're a coffee guy. I'm going to start to like coffee. (laughs) (laughs) I went the opposite way. Oh, gosh. Like, coffee is is an acquired taste. I've only just started to be grown up a little bit and start. Yeah, keep trying it. Trust me. Wait, hot coffee or iced coffee? Hot. Oh, my gosh. Could be hot, could be iced coffee. Wow. There's adults in the room. (laughs) Michelle, no coffee for (laughs) me. Get me some wine. (laughs) Get me some wine. (laughs) Okay, so you said... A, a stick producer, coffee, and yeah. shisha. That's and what you need. Just good vibes. Let's mm. work. Mm. Yeah, we, we're can, good. 
Can I okay. ask, um, yeah. would you ever drop an album with your old choir or a song with them ever again? Yeah. Really? Yeah. What, what made you stop working with them? Or did you stop I, working with them? Maybe no, you're still working. It, I don't know. It, it was a thing of, yo, this is who I want to be. Like, this is who I've wanted to be, like, for the longest mm -hmm. time. And then when I got the chance, I was like, chance, I'm not leaving you. But I'll, but I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> Let me work on me, and mm -hmm. we all going up. Yeah, no, yeah, I like that. I like that. Yeah. I feel like you obviously you can come up with the, you can come up with the people around you, but sometimes yeah. you have to step out to be yourself for real. And yeah. also, it was how it started was like I was with my I used to sing with my family. Mm -hmm. and then, um, obviously, not everyone is gonna love, love music like how I mm. did, you know. Yeah. And people did their own thing, and then I was like, you know what, I'm sticking to this. Mm -hmm. I'm doing music, music, music. And then, you know, as you grow up, you meet people. Then we made the choir, formed a group, you know, at school, started at school. And then, yeah, we made it outside. And I was like, you know what, gents, I think I want to... Step out. Yeah, well. I want to make Dali Wonga. Mm. Yeah. So that's when I started um, working with producers, like going into studios, you know. Yeah. I used to, I used to be in a choir group once. Mm -hmm. That's it. I just wanted to say that. <laughs> we, we, just we, said, we didn't quite make it out of it. She said nothing as much as you, but yeah, a little bit. No, yeah. no. Yes. no, do you know we had a bit of a run? We were touring churches at some point. Really? Yeah, oh, that's, church that's, I don't know. that's actually how it starts. Yeah, that's so I feel cool. like it always is. I don't know who allowed us to be saying no, because in hindsight we were very rubbish. We were terrible. We were so bad. I feel this is no, so bad. No, we were so bad. I'm gonna say something so bad, guys. Please <laughs> don't cuss me. <sighs> oh. Not every church choir. Is a oh, good church choir. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's just yeah, one thing yeah, that I will yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, the singing is nice anyways. I feel like joining this. Do you know what it is? If I go to a church and the choir is not amazing. Do I'm you feel like you check out a bit mentally? No, I'm, so, I'm going to sing and I'm going to make my own choir. And I'm going to be so good. I'm, I can't sing anyways. But in my head, I feel like when I sing like gospel music, I feel like I sound yeah. better. You sound better. I, oh, I, I yeah. think that all the time. I think I sound so good. Mm. Anything else? Can't sing. Gospel music? <laughs> I'm good enough. <laughs> Have you, have you been to a church that you've heard the choir and you're like, nah, this, this ain't it? Guys, my and church... And how did you react? Oh, church. you're putting your church on blast? No, 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 no. Not, my, no, no, no. <laughs> not my church. But let me tell you, my church in Zim. So my church is a like Zimbabwean um, mm -hmm. church and it's mainly based in Zim, but they've got like other places everywhere else as well. My um, brother-in-law was showing me a video of like the kids like dancing at church and they were dancing to Ama Piano and they were, I think they were even dancing to one of your songs. They were dancing to... <laughs> Um, mm, let me not get my pronunciation wrong, but Nike, they were, they were dancing to um, one of Uncle Waffle's songs. I said, oh, this is what we're doing. In okay. the house of the Lord. Is, yeah, you guys are not even scared that like, <laughs> a thunder can just strike. They said, they said enjoy. <laughs> wow. So I saw that, but I know there's a few choirs that... Mm, it's questionable. Mm. What about you? What about you? Have you been to a church that you've heard the choir and you're like... Let me take this mic right now and do this because um, I think a few times, yeah. Yeah. How do you? Re what's your initial response to that? Because mm -mm. I don't like responding. <laughs> mm -hmm. so, yeah, I, I like to keep quiet, let anything. them do their thing. It's mm. fine. Have you ever performed in Manchester before? No, it's my first time. Ooh, Ooh. you're excited! I'm gonna come. I'm you're gonna in come for a treat. Listen, Michelle might just be there on the stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> see, let no, me no, let no, you know no. now. No, if you see me, don't. <laughs> Actually, me. I don't know what to tell you guys. I don't know. I might come in. You will see her. You will see Michelle on the stage. I can guarantee, I can it's, almost promise you, no, you're going to see me on the stage. The stage comes to me. I don't go oh, to the stage. Oh, damn. damn. Sorry. I'm the vibe. <laughs> I told you, it's Michelle's world. We're all just living in it. Let me tell you that for free. Serious. But what are you looking forward to with regards to this performance in Manchester? I'm looking forward to good vibes, man. Mm. Let's have fun. Do you Manchester it. is known as the city of good vibes. Let me oh, let you know that vibes. now. Um, People in London are always angry because everything is expensive there and yeah. the bills is strangling them. Yeah. I mean, they're starting to get us a bit slowly. I, I won't lie. They're getting us a little bit slowly too. But Manchester is the home of good vibes. Mm -hmm. Everyone that's been around here has always said that. So, <gasps> yeah. And everyone says that groove, I'm a piano star, events yes. in Manchester always hit Goes way off. more than I everywhere I told you we were the first to really? do it. Let me, no. listen, I told you Pi Hundreds. Radio did this first. Okay. Put some respect on our name. When right. I was in uni, I was going to Pi Radio events and I was having a blast. This is so what I mean. This is where I actually started off. So I think you're going to have a good time. You're going to have a good time. I think time. you're going to have a better time than you'd expect. Mm -hmm. Better time than yes. London. Um, yeah. Hey, God. Definitely. Yeah, yeah let's, let, let's, let's see on the 12th. Let's see on the 12th. Okay, what song are you looking to perform? Like, which song are you most excited to perform tomorrow? All of them. Trust me. Okay. Yeah. Set the, set, the set list is looking yeah, healthy. Yeah, like from the 
first song to the last. Oh, this is going to be late. I'm We're personally looking forward to this. Let's see. Um, obviously, so here at Pi Radio, we do a lot of stuff to, you know, help young people mm-hmm. get into the creative industry, to help young people get into the music industry and, you know, get themselves out there some more. What advice would you give, you know, up and coming? I'm a piano artist right now because I won't say you're up and coming anymore. You're clear. You're still gone. You're still gone. So I'm going to borrow five pounds from this guy. <laughs> 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 but, um, yeah, what advice would you give an upcoming I'm a piano artist that's um, still... It's, doing the thing, you know? it's quite easy getting t- into the um, piano space, like making a hit. It's very, mm. very like you just keep believing in yourself, keep pushing, and before you know it, you have a hit. Just like, it's like that. yeah, for, like for an example, look at the the Jalabami gents. Mm. We oh knew none days. of them. That, that, like I can't yeah. again. That that's another one. Is quick. just in your face. You, you can't. Me. You can't. Honestly, so it's like TikTok. crazy. If you keep working and. Mm. Trust me, before you know it, you have a hit and you're out there, you're outside. Mm, well, you guys heard it here first. Hard work pays. So you keep doing yeah. it, keep putting keep yourself out there. Thing. Are there any like major challenges that you say you faced along the way in your career? Um, or something that you've seen that's like, oh, do I really, do I want to do this? Because we are humans. At the end of the day, not yeah, the end of the day yeah. it's so, like, like what challenges were there? Let me see. <laughs> Life is too easy for this guy. <laughs> said, I can nice. call like ten not challenges no, I face today. Me, not, really, <laughs> nice. not really. It's like it's like something I really need to think about because mm. I, it, it wasn't that bad. I think I'm a piano in the I'm a piano space. We don't really like have much drama. Mm. Yeah, we don't have drama. Like I'm a piano doesn't really have drama. Hey, it's like it's beca- it becomes something <laughs> that happens behind the scenes. Yeah. It remains. Behind, the, behind scenes. the scenes, and they'll be like, "Good." Wow, so Nigerians like, should listen to that one. See, I, yeah. I was waiting for her to say something. <laughs> listen, my people, you know, my fellow, you know, Nigerians and Afrobeat lot. If yeah. we can say something, from, I, I know we've got this main car, main character syndrome, thinking that we're better than everybody <laughs> else. But if we can take something from this lot, that's what we hear. Like no drama. Like, can we all just get along? You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, every day I see beef for like, There's no like go. real drama like that. Yeah. So it's like. Maybe, you know, having to uh, work with people, you know, you need to be in their space. And I don't really work good when I'm like in someone's mm-hmm. face like that. If mm-hmm. we keep it about the music, even if you're not friends, man, let's just make, uh, let's make music. Make mm-hmm. music mm-hmm. And, That's it. You know, yeah. That's it. And um, who is like one person that you say you go to when you're in time, you know, when, when you're going through something, then or when you need encouragement? Like, you know, uh, you said my you mother. Budget. Sorry, man. Oh, your mom is sweet. Yeah, my mom is like, So did you have a supportive, like, upbringing when it came to music? Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, both my parents were like, yeah, That's bro, ridiculous. do this. That's so my right. family. We never hear like, anything like this. I'll be so me. real. Like, we were like yeah. bro, we are, like, shout out, bro. You mm. need some money. Get your cab. Go sing. <laughs> Take, oh, that's cash, nice. Bro. Do you know, I'll say that's quite refreshing to hear. We don't yeah. usually hear things like that. You are going to be a doctor, a nurse, or an engineer. And <laughs> yeah, if, I mean. Yeah. When you make the money, though, it's like, yeah, yeah. that's my son. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. A, that's yeah. Let your parents see that you're making money. They're going to say, wow, what you're doing is good. It's amazing. Honestly. So, no, well done, well done. Um, so where are you looking to go from here? So obviously the album is out right now. You've got shows that you're mm-hmm. doing. You're doing like a whole UK tour, essentially. Yeah. Where are you trying to go from here? Um, I is am. Next? Are you? Was working on an EP with okay. Sean Music and F Tears. Oh, oh nice. Um, okay, and cool. it's done. Will be dropping soon. Okay. Okay. Yeah, like How soon? Are you trying to give us a date? No, no I'm not trying to give you wow, guys a no date because next. Listen, thing, Afrobeat CNN show. And we then, always get exclusives out of artists, but like, you're not even trying to give nothing. Not giving and nothing. then like next thing, nah. The the date changes and then you guys <laughs> like me alive. Uh, you know? yeah, so so he, yeah, yeah, but very quite soon we we dropping and yeah, I hope people are gonna love it. It's a lovely project and okay, yeah. For now, that's the plan. Just gonna plan my life around that for now. Any features on that that you, you can at least surprise <laughs> feature? Give us, <laughs> at least trying to find something. out something. Surprise, 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 surprise. Yeah. Okay. Personally, can I can I just put like a request out there? I want an Afrobeat artist on the EP. But that's just my request. I just, mm-hmm. again, I'm just, they said ask and... We'll um, give you something better, we'll don't worry. Yeah? Hmm. What about you? Are you putting any requests in? Hmm. I mean, I'm saying this as if we've got control of it. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And here's me thinking, I think, this time the EP like, is done, mixed, mastered, ready to go. <laughs> I don't think I have requests. I think 
You have a good you voice. You're a good singer. I trust in your albums. I trust in your music. Me, I'm a big I'm a piano fan. Yeah, thank Very you big. So much. A little bit too big. Okay, okay, okay. Um, well, um, I think that's about it. We're just going to wrap it up here. Listen, you guys. That's it. That's yeah. it, guys. One more time. Let's get it up for Dali Wanga. Woo! Yeah. Thank you so much. I hope we've not scared you all the way off. We really made him wait for so long. So thank you again for waiting, thank man. You I appreciate so much, it. Nice. I appreciate it. Um, it was a pleasure. Right? Any Should last words? Closing words, Michelle? Yeah, it was a pleasure having you. It's really nice. I think, is this our first I'm a piano? Yeah, oh, yes. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. It's our first I'm a piano guest. Oh, hey, welcome. 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 So, <laughs> giving me the honors. You know, it's really nice to have you on the show. And we hope you enjoy Manchester. We hope you enjoy the UK. Yeah. And yeah, we just hope you continue having a blast. And continue making great music we'll see hopefully some yeah i could be artists on there and That's everything it. like i said i put my request out there in it so i want, I want to see that <laughs> but yeah no our first um yeah we should, i feel like we should definitely celebrate this on my days 100%. our first i'm a piano guest because you know i've been getting main character syndrome and bringing out the afrobeat a lot in hmm. but yeah about the time we've got an i'm a piano guest because <laughs> afrobeat cnn show if you guys don't even already know is a show that encapsulates everything so we play i'm a piano we play afrobeats we play music from central africa music from ghana like we try to spread the word as much as we can do you yeah. know what i mean so mm-hmm. but again dali wonga thank you so much for joining us and this is the afrobeat cnn show we're out peace we out peace